tuning in to the Toxic Trio. I am Ian. I'm Tyler. I'm Tanner. And I'm Ross. Alright, so it is the 4th of July. Woo! And I have a lot of festive fireworks going off today. Oh, yes, sir. Got some brews. Mm hmm. Cheers to that, boys. Absolutely. Uh, oh, man. If I can count how many times I have died on 4th of July, probably around like. I've died, I've died probably about once. You've hey. died once? Like, you, you, yeah. you did? Like, I, I straight up died, came back to life. Like, you know yeah. why? Oh, fuck. So I found cockroaches on my fucking shoulder. Oh, my Ooh. God. Oh, yeah. What, 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 what happened there? Is, it, is, is that your uh, irrational fear of cockroaches? Uh-huh. My irrational fear of cockroaches. <laughs> so, long, long time ago. Uh, about in a galaxy far, far away. Yeah, in a galaxy <laughs> far, far away. About five years, six, no, fuck. Oh my god, that was like 12. Um, that's like about, years about 12 years ago. Yeah, yeah. fucking lost well, a big gap there. But that's like, yeah, that's five, like 12 six, years ago. 14 years ago. 12 years ago, motherfucker. It's like close to six. You're 18 now, right? Shit. The oldest 18 year old that anyone's ever seen, fuck. No, that'd be no one. Benjamin Button. Very true. <laughs> uh, when I was 12 years old, I went to go see some fireworks with my friends outside of the uh, apartment complex that we were living in, and um, sat down on the curb, didn't think anything, you know, I didn't fucking care. I was a little kid, you know, sitting on the curb, I've done it millions of times. I was gonna say, this sounds like one of those, like, rape stories where it's like... I was fucking and raped! And then show, the unthinkable happened. Show, show, me, show me on the doll where the bad cockroach touched you. On the shoulder. Well, I got home, and I started feeling something crawling on my fucking neck. So, I grabbed it, and it, I looked at it, it was a fucking cockroach, so I crushed the motherfucker, screamed like a little fucking girl, and threw it across the room. Well, about five minutes rolls by, and I feel something crawling on me again. I think it was just the after effects of the fucking cockroach being on me. No, I fucking go... I see there's another fucking cockroach on my fucking neck and I crush it and throw it and scream like a little fucking girl again. <laughs> so I took off all my clothes and fucking took a shower. Because I felt like a dirty little boy. <laughs> You're the dirtiest little boy there's ever been. Oh, That's the dirtiest fucking so, cockroach in the world, man. I think that would have been fucking great if he's sitting there and just fucking cockroach had a cockroach. Ah! Like every time. Right. Like, ah! Dude, that would be a fucking... cockroaches later. Walking home like, ah! Okay, alright. Uh, that, 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 your 
testicle looking pretty tasty right now. Give me 50 bucks and a fucking free meal. Air uh, <laughs> testicle is the free meal. It's like, exactly. It's like there. You just keep so I want a pack of smokes and a stack of nudie mags this high. <laughs> 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 Next time, next time, so I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna pay everybody else to do it. Like, yeah, you fucking, <laughs> yeah, you like that shit. Now, what if it was like Jeopardy, where one, if you win, you come back? Because you know they have like usually three contestants, and it's like to see who. So it's like, it's like Jeopardy is the same fucking thing. Kept on going back to like. Yeah, Jeopardy is the same fucking thing. Like, episodes. if you win, you come back, and you just can add to your winnings and shit. Well, the Spirit Factor keep coming back, keep winning the thousand dollars. Fuck it. It's like, yeah, I've won about a hundred grand on Fear Factor already. <laughs> Logic. I just yeah, I'll keep take, doing shit. I'll, I'll take on. Animal Anatomy for, for 800. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. I've donated 30, uh, no, 30% of it to charity to harvest the bull testicle. Oh, no, no, fuck that shit. I we'll do that. human fluids for 1,000. Yo, so real quick, Tori. I'll, ta- I'll take scorpions like, in the ass for 600. Tori's like bull, bull semen, right? No, to- uh, Tori is Tori. bull semen, yes. So, so every energy... How, okay, hold on. How much bull semen do they have to produce to fall these fucking energy drinks out? Let me look at the size of their customers. I hope slim to none, bro, because I, I'm literally going to throw up right now. Dude, I, I drink I think bull, I drink bull, bull, bull semen and I still drink it. Yeah, it, it, it's like compound bull semen. It's not yeah. like... No, nah, it's not. It's not. They don't take like straight out like. Is bull it? Oh, is it like extreme? For me, for me, one hundred percent pure bull semen in a fucking. Like, they don't take like an eye drop and like take the bull semen and like. Mm-hmm. I was like, I feel it swimming down my throat. Imagine how much energy. Like, 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 you know that. You know that episode from uh, Rugrats where like they said like eat the watermelon. Yes, the watermelon fucking goes in your stomach. Yeah, you eat the taurine and a bull goes in. Fucking pull, tugging on that rope. So that no, fucking, no, 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 they, no. They, they yank 
the yeah. fuck out of it before the bowl starts. Yeah, that yeah. will piss it off. Yeah, they make it really mad. You turn my ball! Oh fuck! Like, yeah, that's, that's, why, that's, why, that's, why, that's why you see the bowl. That's why you see the bowl. They're like, yeah. When they're in yeah. the gate, that's when that motherfucker goes like that. That's when the oh, let's brown cow, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, fuck. That's I mean, awful. I didn't mean, realize. Bowl I'll bowl my girlfriend's balls next. Just fucking. <laughs> There's a fucking bowl that was just like balls. into it. So they mm-hmm. yank it. Like, Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, get a new one. No, one. Uh, yeah, so that's roll, roll, roll yeah. that fucking bowl away. Yeah. Fucking call it McDonald's. We got a fresh one. Cut off my fucking cup. That's kid. There we go. That's that's some multi marketing motherfucking shit right there. It's the same, the same bowls we'd be pulling semen from for our. Red Bulls and stuff we'd be putting in the fucking big backs and shit. <laughs> Locally <laughs> sourced and they get off every day. Huh? Locally sourced and they get off at least three times a day. Oh fuck. Man. Extra mayo. Yeah, well, that's not much, mayo. That's <laughs> not All I gotta <laughs> say though is how much like and mayo. Because I'm sure you can get it down to get it down to this measurement. Like so first off we have to figure out how much they produce per time. How many times we can do it per day. That way we can actually like measure out every time we have to stroke it. How much money are we making off that one stroke? Alright, I'm at I'm at a penny a stroke right now. That's all. Next day I'm at fucking three pennies a stroke right now. Fucking ten years from now. I'm at a million dollars a stroke right now. <laughs> well it's not gonna change like that. I mean unless you grow multiple arms you can jerk off many bowls of one. Well and I guess it has to depend on the cow too. Like oh, yeah, no, are they pre ejaculating? Yeah. Like Well not even that, but like we're talking about they come certain, fast? certain ones produce different. Do they come other. fast, do they come slow, do you need to turn it on first? Do you need to fucking hop along with a big old titty? Do you need to shove a fist up its ass? Like what's going on? I don't, I don't <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> four years now. You guys know how they actually get the scene, right? It's it's a synthetic vagina. They yeah, go, it, it, it's like, like oh yeah. yeah. No, no, they they'll, go, they'll go and mount like what is a fucking a female like bull or something like that, and then right as the cock is about to enter, they put a synthetic vagina over it. It's, they do the same thing with uh, horses. You they, they go to mount the female horse and then they fucking grab the cock and fucking put it in the fucking. So but you gotta grab hold of that motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Just big old boobs. 
So if you sit there, you poke their nose and just like squish. He's fucked a lot of seal in his day. I like that blood pussy. That's yeah, fucking disgusting. <laughs> hey man, different strokes for different folks. Unless we're fucking jerking off bulls for semen, you feel me? Oh my fucking god. I am not touching the bull dick. <laughs> what kind of dick would you say? <laughs> if it's five, five, six figures in What kind of dick would you say? Okay, hold on. Elephant semen. Say for whatever reason there's a demand for elephant semen and we have a refuge here in Vegas and say you you own one of them for whatever fucking reason. And they said, okay, for like say every ounce of elephant semen it's like a hundred grand. And you can fucking get like, say like once every six months you can get probably good ten ounces. I'm Which like, I'm, I'm sure is a low ball number. I'm sure they just board ten ounces. I'm like, Probably yeah, that fucking, like five or six gallons. That fucking al- that day. fucking elephant cock's probably like the size of us. Yeah. Well, it's just like elephants make a, actually fucking the shit. Their shit. It's like pancake. They make fucking uh, picture frames out of them. I watched the how it's made thing off Bro, of the, that shit. Not the, like no, how the, it's made the TV show, but it was like something towards that effect. But yeah, in, uh, Indonesia or India, one the, of the two, they make picture frames out the of the biggest that thing shit. is those fucking elephant toes, though. Those things go. Ivory. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's, ivory. that's ivory. like stupid illegal. Stupid illegal, yeah. Stupid illegal, but like, you fucking. I'm not saying who, but someone in my family does have a giant fucking elephant tusk in their room or in their house. At least when I was when I was young, I've seen it. No, no, sorry, not elephant walrus. And someone in your family also yeah. received a package from Russia. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Next. Well. What if elephants laid fucking? I'm like, what's this over there? Like, That'd be a big fucking egg. Like, I want every animal and mammal and everything to just lay fucking eggs. That'd be fucking fantastic. I want scrambled eggs. I'd like everything. Just a, hold on, just, just big old elephant scrambled eggs. You're like, okay, I think we're ready for kids. You knock your girl up, maybe two weeks later, plop, plops out an egg. Right? And like, okay, now you gotta sit there and warm it for a few months. Just be like, hmm, do I really want to be in or not? My, du- my dumb ass would get up in the middle of the night and, like, kick, like, open the fucking. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Honey, start the oven! We got scrambled eggs! I guess again. if you dropped them or broke them, it would be a miscarriage, but like. <laughs> oh, fucking shit! That's an incubate, like. Damn. But well, what you'd have to keep it. Well, I mean, we have heat lamps. We're not fucking savages. What if do- like, dogs lay eggs? Like. like oh, she popped out 10 eggs! Oh my god, it's 10 puppies! <laughs> Holy fuck! Shit, did y'all see that fucking that meme of the dude dancing with the chicken and the fucking chicken with the egg? That's like it's perfect timing. Funny. You ever, uh, you ever sat there and like catch an egg as it's coming out of a chicken? No. Yeah. And just Have slam you? it in his oh, face yeah. like, oh yeah, totally. here's your fucking heart. Fucking give it that. Yeah, like, here's your fucking. <laughs> 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 you know, yeah, make sure it still smells like chicken. No, no my uh, my. <sighs> you actually like. Plop yeah. We did so, pretty fucking good. What? What if that would have been? What if that would have been? Would have been this guy's like chicken pussy. No. See, so, so my my uh, my dad and my mom knew these. Uh, they, they were like family friends. We called them uh, Papa and Nana, and they had their own farm actually down by where uh, one of the one of the churches is down there. And uh, they had, they had a pretty decent sized farm. They had a corral with a couple horses. They had a couple cows. They had a couple pigs. And, uh, but, but they had a lot of chickens, though, so they'd always have fresh eggs. We'd always get farm fresh eggs from them. We didn't go to the store, nothing like that. We'd just buy eggs from them. Super cheap, super down low. And, well, it was, it, uh, he would always take me and Brad, my brother, around and fucking, like, you know, check on if, like, feed the pigs, feed the cows, you know, pet the horses, cut their manes, shit like that. Drink off the bulls. Well, f- <laughs> <laughs> fucking, uh, and, uh, one time, he, he, he took me to do some fucking man-man shit, and, uh, he was like, alright, we're gonna go collect eggs and clean up the chicken coop, and I was like, alright, cool dog, let's fucking do this, and, uh, well, he trapped pigeons there, because, like, pigeons would try to eat the chicken feed, so he fucking... The chicken would eat the pigeons? No, he would, no, <laughs> no, this motherfucker would kill the pigeons, like, he would, he would, he would trap them in this little, like, trap thing, fucking... Take one out, just like, he showed it to me, he's like, okay, now here you go, this pig's like, fuck, woo, 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 like, freaking out and shit, and he's like, alright, now check this, the fuck, squeezes it, this motherfucker's eyes get all big, he goes, whack, and fucking kills it, and I was like, dude, like, totally <laughs> fucked me up, I was like, nine, I was like, 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 like eight or nine, and this shit, I was like, oh, oh, oh. Was funny. and so he, t- he took me to the chicken coop, and, the, and we're looking at all this, like, oh, this one laid an egg, this one laid an egg, this one didn't lay an egg, so we're, you know, we're gonna be seeing an egg here, no time soon, and it like stands up a little bit, it's like, 
squat his fucking head back trying to pull. He was like, 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 like stick your shit. shit. He was like, stick your hand under there now. Because I didn't want to fucking do it. But he was like, stick, stick your hand under there now. Like, okay, and fucking stuck my hand under there. And this fuck, I saw the egg. And I was like, ah! ah and then fucking dropped. I was like, ah, it's so warm. Was it not cooked yet? And it, it, it was, uh, it, it was, it was. Bro, I went home and like, I'm like playing with Hot Wheels, just like war images flashing through my mind. <laughs> shit. Shit. Pretty, pretty horsey, like, pretty cow, like pretty he pig, dying. fucking broken neck, pitching. <laughs> but I'm like, uh, assuming his parents did the same thing, but <laughs> when he was nine, he was probably like, Yo, I'm gonna kill so many fucking pigeons. Like, bro. Like, like, you know, I, I never really had a devastating time with farm animals except for one time. I used to have these, when we lived in Utah, we had these fucking, uh, Old people named Lois and Bronco. And the motherfucker's name was Bronco. Actually, a name Bronco. Um, they would yeah. watch us. They would babysit us because we were like seven. Mm. It was right before we moved down here. And fucking, they had a fucking farm. Well, we went to the farm with Lois one time to go horseback riding, and uh, the horses, I guess, weren't feeling good or some shit like that. But we got to feed them apples and shit. But, you know, Lois was like, alright, just hold your hand out with the fucking apples, and the fucking horse starts eating my fucking fingers! <laughs> I'm a little kid, and I'm like, ah! Ah! Fuck! Dude, uh, you know, I imagine it, and it hurts so bad. <laughs> but I guarantee you, the horse didn't, like, fucking, like, gnaw down on it. He was but just, like, nibbling I just, fingers. I remember it faintly, because I remember it was, like, mostly a traumatic time for me. I was like, here's some apples, here you go, horse, you fucking yawn! Yo! Fucking ow! That, that would have fucking that would have gotten me too. So yeah, and then at the mercy of this horse, you know? <laughs> But the horse was really nice. It went up to my fucking cheek, and it fucking was like, oh, I'm sorry. We didn't see a whole lot of shit in Washington. Just like we had like plants oh, inside, man. which is kind of stupid because there's so many plants everywhere in that fucking state. Like we had plants inside, and every now and again we would hear like noises, so we'd have to go grab the frogs from the plants and put them outside. That was about it. And oh, the fucking mean. mosquitoes, like. That fucking big. Like, oh, like what? Nasty. I hate you fucking didn't, shoot didn't those things, Did your dad fucking bro. get a jellyfish? Oh, yeah, no, we got a pet, we had a pet jellyfish for, uh, for, for a hot minute. That's tight. Uh, we were at what they call beaches up there. Uh-huh. Because <laughs> uh, you didn't have the... Because when me and Ian up there... When me and Ian went up there, he didn't have the... He didn't have the luxury of seeing them during the, during the daytime with all the logs scattered all over the beach and shit. It being overcast and fucking rainy and just fucking like 70, like 65 degrees and you're at the we beach. We got there at fucking 8 o'clock where it was almost fucking, it was dark. And it was cold too. And it was cold as fuck. It was and nice. it was fucking end of summer, so it's like September. Yeah. But it's like fucking 40 degrees at night. Mm-hmm. Do you Wonderful. That's but uh, one time we went, my dad saw like a jellyfish come up like real close to like the sand, like to up, up on the shore and everything. So he grabbed a fucking, he found a bucket, he just fucking whoop, like, fucking swooped it up. We took it home, and you go, eat, I don't know if he fucking fed it, but like, I know he'd swap out the water with salt water and shit. And fucking he, jellyfish. Then he's just wow. I don't think like in a fucking, he's living in a Home Depot bucket, like. <laughs> and he's like five wow. gallon Home Depot. So, no, I don't think this thing is uh doing too good. So he went back to the ocean and fucking dumped it back in the ocean, like. So we had a pet jellyfish. I mean, for two weeks, yeah. Fuck yeah. Well, whatever. <laughs> but like, there's a lot of fish up there. Like, can you say motherfucker that you had a pet jellyfish? I can't. I got. I. I my buddy. Uh, beach I had buddy. a beta fish. That was the <laughs> most fucking water fucking fish pet that I had. Well, most yeah, fish, fish go in water. Yeah, most fish go in water, but yeah. almost, you know, like. Well, like all, so like all fish. <laughs> yeah. All fish, you're probably, you're probably breathing, breathing air through water with your gills because you're a fish underwater. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Talking about the life. We, uh... You'll, you'll be in the water. I, 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 I had fish growing up for like a little bit. We had a, a I, I had one, I can't remember what it was. I think it was like some different type of like goldfish or something. I, I called him Big Joe because he was like the biggest fish we had. And uh, my brother had like another two when we had a Picasimus. And like... They all died except for Joe, so we kept Joe, and then we were like, well, we want to get some more fish, because I'm only feeding Joe, you know, he's, he's getting fucking lonely, and so my dad was like, okay, bet, let's get some fucking cheapo-ass fish, and you can get these little neon fishes at, like, at, like, fucking PetSmart and shit, and they're, like, 10 cents or, like, 20 cents a fish, dude, and you, so you can get, like, 20 of them, and just, like, throw them in there, bro, 
every day I would get up and I would look at that tank and there'd be less and less fish in there. They'd be Joe would be yep. eating them. They'd be getting stuck in the fucking water filter. They would just fucking like zoom really fast and like fly out like oh motherfucker! Like the, I saw one dead. I left the thing up because I was feeding them and I left the little the little cover up. And I looked down. I, I come in and I was like oh I left it up. I closed it and I looked down. And there's one fish like boom boom boom. And I was like oh man. And I, and I didn't put him back and I just threw him in the trash. I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. Oh, oh. I, I didn't know what to do. I was like, oh man, he's, 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 he's dying. I didn't, I didn't put two and two together. If I threw him back in the water, he would have lived. But just, you, did, you did the same thing with Oh, the well, there's that. Fuck it. Yeah, there was like another 28 fish in there. Or the One of my sister's uh, ex-boyfriends uh, <coughs> passed away. Uh, rest in peace. But uh, he had a fucking catfish that was like 17 years old. He had it from when he fucking <coughs> caught it. He, I, th- oh, right. I think he caught it and then just kept the motherfucker. But I don't know. He, he could have bought it from a store and kept it for 17 years. So the motherfucker could have been old as fuck. But he also had an algae fish that was about like 10 years old. I fucking love those. Right? And uh, the one he called, like, I think, I can't remember what he called. He called the fucking catfish cat. But the fucking algae fish, it was something funny because, you know, they suck and shit like that. I think it was like dick sucker or some shit like that. They're sick. And fucking, yeah, that thing lasted a long time. They fucking, dude, I swear to God, fucking certain fishes can last as long as puppies. Shit, algae, algae, algae you can live for fucking ever. Well, and you know what's funny is the last, like, year of its life, it, because the fucking tank broke. The catfish died uh, after the tank fucking broke. Uh, probably about, like, two weeks after, because I guess it was, like, I guess, you know, like that homesick shit, but the fucking algae eater fucking lasted still about like six months. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's another business we can get into. Fucking catching random fish and selling them. Like, if you I get some fucking... I, I want a giant isopod still. I can't, um, find any, I can't find any living ones. I would that. love a giant isopod. Just, they, they sell like dead ones for like 100 I, 200 bucks I, I, a day. I want a living one. Yeah. I'd probably be, be, pretty, be pretty creeped out from it. It probably reminded me of a fucking cockroach. Just one big old dude. But it looks this like a roly poly. Like cute. But it also looks like a roly poly as well. So we can actually, I like roly poly. We could actually probably go and get some ourselves if we took a trip to Texas because in the Gulf of Mexico they have giant ice balls there. Just so they're, they're, they're not like the. They're, I, don't, they're, I don't think they get as big as like the ones out in like Australia or anything. But if I, if I could buy one for sure. An isopod is an isopod. If you no, guys can find an isopod for ten. Giant isopod. We'll pay for it. No, because those things are. Like I said, dad wants like 200 You can send it to us. Never mind. Pay for the pay for Yo, you know what I remember? Fucking off ranchos, like if you took a left on, I think, Decatur, and you go down Rancho a little bit, they're not even, like, not even a little bit, like you know how Decatur does that weird thing in the Rancho and yeah. up with it? Like, there used to be a little pet store that had little fucking baby monkeys with diapers and shit. It was an exotic pet store. Oh, yeah. It had yeah, fucking turtles, it had toys, it, it, it had all, it had the monkeys. And then there no more. No, so I know it's not there no more, but they have fucking baby monkeys for sale there with diapers on and shit. Like, like legit, like they grow up to be monkeys. Yes. Like monkeys. Like not like eight, eight, five. Uh, they once, but probably, you know, once probably they get you this tall or whatever. Shit, bro. But no, dude, they legitimately used to say, and I, I remember thinking about that the other day. Oh, that was cool. They had fucking huge snakes and shit there. They had tarantulas. I'm like, I remember my mom was go there and be like, oh, let's go look at the monkeys. Like, okay, we're going to the zoo. The little shitty fucking excuse for a zoo, a zoo that we used to have. Yeah, we only had the one zoo that was off of fucking Bradshaw for the longest but time. But this thing was so fucking, dude, those monkeys were You know, so we, we had two, because uh, I remember taking a field trip for one of them. It wasn't this fucking zoo that we had out here, but uh, I, I remember that we had some uh, yeah, other shitty one? small zoo besides the one off of Rancho. I might have one of the only existing things left from that zoo, because I have that flamingo that hangs in my car. That's from the zoo. You were probably one of the last people to go to that zoo, because you went when you were, what, 18? Hey, you know what we fucked up? Last time we never went to Barney Springs. That was 18 months last time before it closed. Yeah, dude. Rest I went to East yeah. Barney Springs. I gotta say, bro, I, did, I, I went to there. I've been there so many times. I, I, love, I love that place. I love yeah, that place. Yeah, they had to do up there. Barney Springs was the shit. Too. I've never been to Barney Springs. It was, it was cool. I'm a fucking cool. pussy. I wanted to go this last time because it was like fucking uh, Nazi, you know, like the Nazi zombies that you get to play in Call of Duty. Oh, yeah, they, uh, zombie, they had zombie, bus. Pay, zombie paintball. Right? Yeah, they had the zombie bus paintball. Yeah. You, you sit there, they got this big old fucking school bus that they spray paint black, board up the windows, and there's a fucking paintball gun mounted to the window. You sit there and fucking shoot at these motherfuckers. But I, it was cheap, it was like 20 bucks a person. If no one knows what Bonnie Springs is, it's old Nevada. It, it, was, it was like this old, like, like, western, wild west kind of town that they did. 
it was like this huge, like up and down town. So it looked like a complete exact replica. They had like a wax house and like performances and stuff. You go in and lunch. Uh, like, like most they had like a those buildings were from. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Because that was where the battle was like. It was like where it was founded, close to. That, that, yeah. Um, because it's in a Blue Diamond town, just about. It's fucking. It's like halfway between Red Rock and Blue Diamond. Yeah. It's literally like smack dab in the middle. Like you go about two miles down, and Blue Time, Blue Diamond Town is right. They there. have a fucking. Yeah. They have a train that went around like the whole like. Hey, you from the parking lot to the fucking actual place. Bonnie screams all like they have like magicians and all that. It was all themed during Halloween. I ne- I never got to go to Bonnie like, screams, like, but I wanted to go to this last one because yeah. it looks so cool. There was well, I can't believe they got rid of it. Cool little thing we used to do. Like, we would go up to like Gene, we'd go all to these little small towns and go see ghost towns and shit. Me, and my mom, my dad, and my sister. When we were, when me and my sister were way, way younger, my sister's like, she's like probably 13, not like 10. And like, they were like, she was in all the paranormal shit. So like, Gene, Nevada, there's a ghost town up there. So we drove up there and we would take day trips to go fucking see ghost towns and shit. And man, some of them were really yeah, fucking yeah. cool. Cause like, there, there's people walking around, like, you know, like, but there's like, some of them didn't even have like, there's no tour guides, no one like, making sure no one fucked anything up. It was just like, people like, oh, I want to go look at this. And they walk around and look. There's also, um, what do you, uh, you guys have been out to Nelson's Landing, right? Yeah. Uh, no, I've never been out there. So yeah. when you, when you I've go never been to Nelson's Landing. When you go I've to Nelson's there. Landing, there's like this little plain graveyard on the side of the road, and then there's this little building on the left side. You stop by the left side, you can actually go on a tour of the fucking mines that are there, and like, like you walk in right and everything, they shut the lights off. They're like, yeah, if the lamps went out or, you know, a fucking gust of wind came out and fucking, like, you know, blew all the lamps out, then this is what they'd have to fucking do to get by everything. Jesus. This is what they'd have to, how they'd have to get back. Like, and they talk about Tommy knockers and all that shit, like, fucking, like, dude. Shit, but speaking of ghost town, fucking, you go out to Calian, which is about three hours from here, it's still in Nevada, there's a fucking hotel there that's supposed to be, like, extremely fucking haunted. P.O.S. Yeah. Yeah. No, go to Pioche, Nevada. Pioche, Nevada? Because Where? I'm going out there, and I'm going out there Labor Day. Uh, because I went out there to visit, uh, visit my friend's parents' property and everything. We went out there. We drove around the town and everything. And there's a haunted hotel out there, which looks all... Dude, the whole town, like, it used to be huge. Like, it used to be, like, 80,000 people. Apparently, there was, like, 3,000 people who lived there. Maybe less. And, like, there's a bunch of old abandoned mine shops that are all closed off, but you can find some that aren't. Oh, oh, shit, that's awesome. And then yeah, after your the fucking prison out there. Hey, I'm down, uh, whenever, you, whenever you're whenever you going, the let fucking, me know. Hey, about the, fucking the fucking hotel party, I mean, the, they say it's so haunted that every person that checks into the hotel, they have yet, like, there's yet to be a person to stay the entire night. Hmm. Where's this at? Big Caliente. 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 Big Caliente. Let's all just fucking, let, 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 let's, all, let's all do it. Well, next podcast will be there. <laughs> Well, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go take a trip to Caliente and y'all, y'all can stay at that hotel and do a podcast. Stay the whole night, sun, sunset to sunrise. sunrise. Y'all ever been to Scotty's Castle? No. no. I was about to bring that up because yeah. uh, I feel like I'm like one of the only people that's been there because it's like there's like this little castle out in the middle of Death Valley. Not a little, it's a big castle out in the middle of Death Valley. A castle out in fucking Death Valley. Yeah. Uh-huh. You was and talking you, about you it could, when we were, were going yeah, up to Washington. Yeah. You could walk around, go on a tour, and everything. It's fucking cool. Also, because I know we were talking about fish earlier. There's like two castles or three castles that are in the West Coast right over here. Yeah, and it's fucking weird. Uh, one of them's for sale, actually. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> there's actually this little, there's this little fucking, like, I think they call it the portal of hell or something like that out in Death Valley. It's like there's water there when there should not be water at all. And it's home, it's home to the only, there, there's a species of fish that's only found there. We should go. And people have seriously, we'll people people seriously gone out there, there, there and fish. tried, like, you know, fucking kicking in the water trying to kill all the fish and shit. Like assholes. And that's the only place those those fish live. And I'm down as fuck to go see that. What if those fish are like asexual or something? And they, Yo, but and we should to kill one. It just fucking. We should wait till after summer. Up a new one, anyways. Fuck it. Fuck it. We should wait till after summer though. Yeah. Because death that way. I'm not trying to go into 130. Yeah. <laughs> fuck that. Dude. Hey, no fucking bet. I, I love the heat. Let's go oh, right fuck now. Fuck you. You. You're probably the motherfucker that turned the AC up there. Oh. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. When we. Yeah. When everybody leaves and we're all gone. Yeah. Absolutely. You don't need it on during the day when it was on. That's how you save money, kiddos. <coughs> Boyos. Fucking right. How you save money? money. I'm sorry, the day with like your parents for as long as you fucking can. Be that 40 year old person in their basement. Don't, don't, no, don't, 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 stay don't do that. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's. Immediately, immediately. Well, I, you know, and I think I could, you know, I, I, I came from to. Utah, so, like, I should be used to the cold, right? 
I fucking hate the cold. Like, it just fucking bothers me. But, you know, I also fucking lived in a house in fucking Nevada with no AC for five years. Fucking, our AC unit was broken, so we didn't fucking... We didn't want to fucking spend the money for that, so we lived in a fucking 100 degree house for fucking whatever. Your house sucked. Didn't blow. Hey, but you motherfuckers like fucking coming to my fucking garage. Yeah, yeah, that was the spot. Going to your house and being in the garage. That was the fucking fucking spot. Drinking beers while we're all underage and having your mom walk out and we all fucking. The the funniest part about fucking the whole drinking alcohol. She fucking knew. Yeah, well, she 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 knew. She knew. I'm glad that she, you know, like, we can talk about it now, but, like, you know, back in the day when we were fucking 16 and then fucking we had the futon in the garage and then fucking a couple pillows, and then she would just come out and I'd hide them in the fucking under the pillow. Like, what are you doing? I'd use Beating my off. Leg. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'd use my leg and go like this. What are you doing? Heroin. Okay. <laughs> She'd stare. As long as there's no alcohol. She closes stare. the door. Exactly. <laughs> That's the love of the Shit, she takes out when I was fucking 13, me and I your fucking house, you, me, you and Tonzo fucking drinking Ham's beer. Oh, uh, yeah, Ham's. Uh, up in yeah. the fucking, up in the guest bedroom and all that. Fucking $10 for a 36 pack, that was the fucking shit. That was the fucking most disgusting beer I've ever had. Yeah, it would get you fucked up though, especially, yeah, when, up. especially when you're young and you don't have fucking much of an income from a workplace or anything like that, and you, you're like, oh, I just want to get fucked up. You know, hams, hams was a fucking thing, man. And then you the toxic trio does not condone underage drinking. Yeah, don't. Uh, don't, don't uh, yeah, don't, don't do it. But I mean, you're not your parents. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What I don't see, I don't care. Don't you know, you know, what's funny is my first time ever getting drunk because I was so afraid so, of getting drunk was fucking when I was seventeen, my seventeenth birthday. <laughs> yeah, I got it's so every fucking going. Fucked man. up. And you're fucking underage ass since you're three years younger than us. You fucking four. three. You're three years younger than me. You're twenty four. Yeah, but you're three and a half. Sorry. Three and a half years younger than me. Your birthday's this month, That's asshole. Two weeks. No, so you'll be twenty two this year. Did I, did I wink, wink. wink. Uh, did did I, because I, I pissed on Gavin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. What? We'll go back to your story. I need to hear this shit. So. <clears throat> I was getting drunk with, uh, it was me, Gavin, and my buddy Anthony, and uh, we, were, we, 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 we were pretty toasty, and Gavin passed out on the couch first, so automatically you're getting fucked with. Yeah. And uh, so you I was, told, oh, you I was told like, me oh, 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 like, oh, the major rule is that if they take the shoes off, you can't fuck them. I don't give a fuck. If you pass out first, get fucked there, you better you you're, the, you're always the first one to fucking pass out, too. You no. told me about this, but, yeah. Uh, no, I fucking, I was like, I mean, you know what, I'm going to pee on Gavin, yeah, don't give a fuck. And, uh, <laughs> I go there, I, I'm standing right in front of him, he's snoring, and I'm looking at him, and I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna pee on him. And he's like, why is this? I don't want him to see my dick when he, if, he, if he, like, wakes up in the middle of it. So, like, I peed, and <laughs> we, we were eating ice cream, too. So I peed in, like, this little fucking, like, ice cream cap thing for, like, a, for, like, a thing for, like, a pint of ice cream. And I fucking tossed it on him, and he didn't wake up. And then like an hour went by, I was like, I'm not going to wait for this dude to wake up. So Anthony's like, okay, well, I'm going to pour some yeah. fucking hot sauce in his mouth. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. So I pour hot sauce into his mouth, like fucking like tap it to you. It's like, glug, glug, glug. He's like, oh, oh. He like gets up. <laughs> the, 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 the plus was that he picked his shirt up and fucking wiped it on his face. To his covered, yep. <laughs> all on his mouth and stuff to get it out. And he looks at it. Smells it, and I, I just I die of laughter. I I thought you were just gonna like wake up a couple hours later. It's like, oh, why am I so itchy? Like, no, bro. Like, that that, that, that it's was like, the it's most like, fucked up thing I've done. Hey, it's sure. like when fucking Gavin put his fucking gun sack on his face and fucking smeared it across uh, his fucking face. See oh, now, man, that's heroin nuts, man. See now, I'm just so glad that I didn't have to deal with that shit because I didn't really stay over at anyone's house. No one stayed over at my house. Well, we had that we had that one time where we because anytime we got drunk, we always stayed out till like fucking five o'clock. In the I mean, if that counts and that counts, I remember you me and Alec fucking lay on his fucking driveway, yelling about how much we love each other, and talking about our kinks. Yeah, fucking, and then 
Where did all the beer go? Yeah, I fucking you fucking drink it. Yeah, you fucking we, drink all the beer that us, you fucking inhibit. Tanner had probably about five or six beers, and we had two 12 packs, and we fucking, we were drinking all of them. I guess we drank, had, we had drank all of them. And fuck it. That was back when we were on that fun line kick because we were yeah. like, we didn't have that much money, but we wanted something that doesn't taste like beer. So something that doesn't taste like hams. Yeah, well, and we, we, were, we were on that kick for a minute, but you know, I, I still love Bud Lime. I was thinking about getting some yesterday, but they didn't have any, so it was Modelo. Uh, but Draco. fucking, yeah, we, we, we kept drinking and kept drinking and fucking talking about fucking weird ass kinks that we're into. And fucking, uh, yeah. Like a whole fucking his head up my ass. Yeah, and it, well, you type shit. And fucking, um, at one point we were just like, we got into the topic of where did all the beer go? And me and Alec were already fucked up. And, uh, fucking, uh, Tanner's like, we drank it all, we drank it all, we drank it all. And we kept accusing Tanner of pouring out the rest of our fucking beer. And fucking, uh, Tanner left probably around five. Me and Alec stayed up. And Alec's like, Let's go get another fucking, let's go get a couple other tall cans. And so we got a couple other tall cans and we're fucking sloshed at this point. I'm on his fucking trunk at his fucking mom's house just chugging a beer and he's talking to me. Wait, for his, wait for his mom to leave so he go inside. Yeah, so we can go inside. Uh, but we, we couldn't even go inside. So we're drinking and we're on his fucking trunk and I'm passing out. He's like, my mom's about to wake up. We can't go inside. And so he's like, we're going to drive around the corner so that way we can just hang out for a little bit. Oh, this got creepy. And so fucking, yeah, this, this got real fucking weird. Yeah, you see your dick. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it wasn't that bad. bad. So we went to McDonald's, right? My mom's purse. We went to the McDonald's just right up the road over here. And I'm passing out. I have something in my fucking hand just fucking, fucking <laughs> dying over here. Like, I'm drunk as fuck eating a fucking McGriddle. And I'm fucking like, all right, whatever. And Alex like, mm, well, here I'll take you home, and whatever. And I'm like, thanks, man. And fucking, he takes me home. But what he didn't tell me is this fucking. Uh, when he went back, he, he still had to wait for his mom to leave. And he, you know the little daycare right over by the Uncle Burrows over here. He parked yeah. right up there and passed the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, he passed out, or no, he wasn't even passed out. He he oh, was, he was watching his, videos. Yeah, he was watching videos on his phone, and then like he saw like. 10 or 12 little kids just walking past his car and he's just like this and he's like staring at all of them and he felt so weird because he felt like a fucking like pedo oh, just, yeah. just like being right there and he's like <laughs> and he looks at his phone he's like my mom's fucking gone and he just fucking puts it in reverse and fucking leaves push me to imagine that yeah this guy parked up here and then once the kids passed he left yeah like, <laughs> damn what? I got the license plate and everything <laughs> fuck it the guy has license plate no, no, no it's oh, just oh, joke. Come on now. <laughs> come on now. Use <laughs> your brains. Then we say we jerk off the fucking cows. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, come on. I remember the fucking night that fucking Alec got broken up with his fucking high school sweetheart. Oh god. Uh, I remember. I remember got, the week after when I had to take him to the fucking hospital. That was that was. Oh yeah, we got escorted out by police. Yeah. That was wonderful. What what happened there? Uh, oh, I remember, I remember and so murder investigation. Yeah, so we, we, me, and me, and a couple of our friends, we went to this uh, metal party. So and uh, I found out about it on Facebook because this one random, this Tom one random Flair girl that I like had added on. She had this little flyer. It's like, oh yeah, whoever can come. So like naturally, I told them, and I wasn't really about to go in there. Like, oh, let's go. I'm like, oh, okay. So I'll, I'm going to tell my part of the story until his part takes on. We go we go to the party, it's kind of, well, at least while I was there, it's kind of lame, we ended up running to Alex. And I was Alec like, okay, Bowen, whatever. Alex Bowen. And, uh, no, I was, me, me, Alec, and Ryan, and uh, Alex rode in the same car. On the way home? On the, on the way, way there. On the way there and home. Because someone drove, oh, I drove, oh, I drove my truck, because I was like, I'm not going to stay there, like, horribly long. And I had to go see a meal anyway. Mm -hmm. So, we get to this party, right, and it's me, Alec, Alex Bowen, and fucking Tunzo. And so, it's just this metal party. I'm like, fucking rad. You know, fucking something that we can actually fucking get into. You know, not, like, not these fucking little fucking rap star fucking little kids that fucking love this shit. But anyways, we're having a blast. We're having a good time. Um, we bought our own fucking little 12-pack of Budweiser. And fucking everyone just kept fucking 
drinking our beer, and we were like, I was like, fuck it, you know, if everyone's drinking our beer, I'm going to drink the fucking party beer. So I started drinking their beer because I, I want to get fucking tipsy. I want to get fucking drunk. Get sloshed. And I, yeah, and this fucking weird dude uh, that looked like Snake fucking <laughs> kept drinking our fucking beer, and a- after a while, he was so annoying, we had to tell him to leave. He was fucking so annoying. Anyways, this is besides the point. I'm kind of lagging on, but... Uh, uh, we're, me and Alec were looking for everyone because everyone had dispersed. And, um, we had go- gotten to the backyard again. And there's a fucking pool, everyone's fucking swimming and shit like that. And this fight breaks out, right? Um, yeah, this fucking drunk little skinny little motherfucker is like swaying back and forth. And this fucking big ass buff dude fucking is like, hey man, you know, like keep it away. And the dude fucking looks back at him. And swings and hits the big ass motherfucker. That was the fucking kid's mistake, man. That big God, buff God. dude fucking went bop, bop, knocked him the fuck out, right? And me and Alec, we were just like, oh shit. So we got, we were right in the fucking crosshairs of the fight. Uh-huh. I had backed out, uh, you know, going to like the east side, and Alec went like south. And fucking, all I remember, Alec thought he got hit by one of the blows from the fight, but oh, it was like a two hit or quitter. That fucking dude knocked that kid out, and fucking Alec got, uh, I, I see fucking Alec, he, he had fucking walked past, and I was like, oh shit, and all I remember is I see Alec go like this, and then a fucking beer can hitting my lip. Oh, It had man. literally, like, we were probably, me and Alec, we were probably about 20 feet from each other, but the beer can had hit him in the head, and bounced all the way to my fucking lip. Oh, man. Yeah, Alec had a fucking big old vagina on his fucking eye. Ooh. That he needed fucking, like, five or well, six Well, here's inches. the thing. Like, so, they sent me a picture of it, and I was like, okay. Like, this is where I pick up. I was just leaving the meal. I'm like, hey, hey, dude, like, are you good, man? Like, you need anything? He's like, hey, can you give me some band-aids? But yeah, sure. So I stopped by my house. I'm like, it was actually a hotel for the band-aids. I remember buying band-aids. I came over to his house. I knocked on the door. He opened this and Bro, you don't need no fucking band-aids. You need Jesus off in the fucking truck. So he lost his job, lost his girlfriend in two years. Yeah. All in the same week. And then oh. this happens. And then got a So, glitter. I'm like, dude, we're going to the hospital. Get the fucking car, right? Because I mean, you need stitches. Like, that's, that's bad. And I think at this point, it's probably like 11, 30, 12 o'clock. In the morning. It's probably 12 in the morning at this Late point. Spot. So we drive over there. And uh, I have work the next morning, too. Just, just for future. Just, yeah. you know, whatever. Just the time. And I just got my job back, too. At a, at a place that, yeah, we're not going to say, but I remember. We drove to the hospital, and uh, of course, who was working in the front? Uh, his ex's dad. Said, yeah, his ex's dad okay? was, is a fucking nurse. He's like, Yo, I was like holy dude. shit, you okay? I was like, yeah, yeah, I, just, you know, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to get the stitches or whatever. He's like, what happened? Well, he was 18, and he's the only one of us that was 18. He didn't want, to, he didn't want his parents to find out that he was at a party. Mm-hmm. So he, he lied, and he had this whole story. He said, Oh, well, me and my friends, we were at an arcade, and uh, we were walking back, and uh, the, this uh, group of four guys, uh, they started fighting us, they took my wallet, and they got my wallet back, but they didn't know where I was. Took the cost of this, yeah. He's like, do you want to you you contact the police? We'll make a report. He's like, no, no, I just want to get my stitches and leave. So we're sitting there waiting for a minute or two, probably about like half hour, 45 minutes. Then we're like, okay, sweet, let's go back. So we go back and everything. I was just kind of sitting there, hasn't got his stitches yet. They came and cleaned it and all that shit. And they're like, oh, you're lucky, you owe me fucking staples. And he's like, so yeah, he wanted band aids. Like, well, it's a good thing he came in, or else it's fucking, it would have grew back weird. He would have had a weird ass scar, and his face was a little stretched. And I was like, okay, whatever. Because it was like right here. Ooh, was like, yeah, it was. You can't even, you can't even tell anything. It was probably yeah. about that long. God damn. Yeah, the fucking Not vagina on the side. Fucked him up. But like, so we're sitting there and everything, right? I'm just, I'm bullshitting with him, right? He's, he's, he's it's probably like maybe like one, one, two in the morning at this point. We're just kind of sitting there bullshitting. I'm like in the chair, right? I can see out the hallway. The door's right here. I could have been later than that so, because we got back to my place at probably one. Okay, so it's probably close to like three, yeah. three or four in the morning. I'm sitting there like this, right? Just like me and him are bullshitting. My phone's like 2%, right? So I'm like talking like, oh, hey, there's a cop out there. He's looking at me. I think he's coming here, bud. <laughs> He walks in and he's like, hi, my name's Officer, whatever, blah, 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 and he's like, what happened? And he, he explained the whole story, and he's like, yeah, but, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to make a report or anything like that, I just want to, I just want to get my stitches and go home, I'm tired. And he's like, well, you see, we can't do that, because there's actually a murder down at the Santa Fe, which is where he said he was at, 
you know, there's a murder down at the Santa Fe, and we believe the guys that attacked you might have been the guys that killed the killed the person, right? And, and he's like. It was yeah, a person I, I, from Shark Tank, oh, too, wasn't from, it? From tank. He lied, oh, he tank. lied to the cops, tank. too? Tank. Well, here's yeah. the thing. No, he, he was just telling the story. The cop, the cop didn't tell him that part first. He told him the story already. Right. And uh, there was some guy, I don't think it, he was actually on the show, but he was a crew member from Tanked that got killed. And uh, yeah. it's a road rage incident. So it was like right on Blow Mountain, right? So, oh, wow. so I'm, I just give Alec this look like, dude, tell the truth. So I'll go with it, but like, I got work, so tell the truth, right? And he is. Okay, we were at a party and I got, I, I got like, you know, there's a fight and everything. They hit me and blah, 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 whatever. And he's like, he said something, he said, I don't think, I think he said suspect, but he radioed in something about a story. I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's not, that, those aren't good words to be put together. Those aren't good words to be put together. He's like, no, no, I'm like, yeah, here, I got some go. I got the thing, I got the invite on my phone and everything. So I showed him, right? And I was like, I don't even care if motherfuckers can bust. Fuck all of them, right? So I can show him, it was like at 2%, right? And he's like, he radioed in the address. I'm like, I think the party's probably done anyway, because it's like, it was a vacant oh, no, house or something. No, it was it was the one the girl's house, whatever her name oh, was. Oh fuck her then. So yeah, anyway. and she uh, literally when me, Alec, and uh, Alex and Ryan left, the house got fucking broken up. The party got broken up by fucking four different cops. Okay, cool. But so anyway, I was uh, so the we got escorted out to like the little billing area or whatever, he gave the insurance and shit. They escorted us out to, uh, escorted us out to their fucking squad cars and had us write reports and shit. Said, you'll have some investigators either at your house or your fucking work or whatever, this and this and this. And at this point, it's probably five in the morning. I'm like, I gotta be up in an hour. Savage. I'm not, I'm not sure if I dropped him off and then got food or if we got food and then I dropped him off, but. Didn't you have, like, bad stomach shit that day and you oh, fucking yeah. went home early? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. Big time. Big time. Yeah, because when I don't sleep, my stomach gets fucked up. Oh, man. So, yeah. Uh, no wonder why your stomach's always fucked up. Sleep all the time. For, like, at least three hours a night. <laughs> it's time. But, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Because he lied. Because he lied. We were, quote, yeah, unquote, suspects in a murder investigation. That's fucking insane. Though. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, God. Anyone else have any murder uh, suspect stories? I tell you, well, yeah, like, look at the ex crime scene cleanup. Like fucking, I tell, I, I, I tell you what. I got plenty of stories if you want to hear them. I fucking, uh, I had my fair share of B and E in, in in the past, breaking and entering. That that, 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 that that wasn't a wasn't a fun. Experience. It was kind of fun. It was uh, towards the end. It sucked. You're also, you need to stop. You're just not a phase ball. Yeah, no, I, I, no, I remember. I, I was saying. Do B and E's for the rest of my fucking life. I remember this story. I, I know this story all too well. That Anthony Cat from earlier that I was with, that Pete on Gavin with. Yeah. Uh, he, he he had left and gone on like a tour or some bullshit with his dad. Yeah, and so me and a bunch of other friends broke into his fucking house. It wasn't even breaking in. Fucking somebody gave him the fucking clicker to this house. Yeah, but the garage door was locked. Oh. So. Yeah, so we got in through the fucking back window, and man, Taj. we fucking trashed this fucking place, man. Used every dish, drank all the fucking liquor, ate all the food. There was condoms Pe- everywhere. There were condoms everywhere. People were fucking in the rooms, man. It was, it was, it, 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 it was, was all bad. It, it was, was all bad. And fucking, uh, I am glad I was not a part of that, because I was never invited. Everyone fucking was like, no, no, fucking don't, no, no, no. I don't know why they didn't like you. There's a lot of people that didn't like me. I fucking loved on. you since day one. Well, yeah, but you, you, you were, you were my nephew. So I'm like, yeah, fuck. but that shit. That's my boy and everyone. That shit got real bad. Fucking, uh, his dad came back and knocked on my door, and uh, he was like, "You at my house?" When I was fucking out of town, <laughs> and I was like, "Nah, bro, I don't know who the fuck you are." And he, 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 he was like, "I'm gonna have to bring that motherfucker up." I was like, all right. I don't give a fuck where you are. Yeah, I was like, all right, word. <laughs> I was like, no, I was, I wasn't at your house, man. And he fucking, uh, he was like, oh, are these your shoes? And holy fuck, they absolutely were my shoes. <laughs> and I, cause uh, <clears throat> my other friend uh, had the same pair of shoes that I did, and they, they were black as well. So I, I saw his. We wore the same size. So I was like, oh fuck yeah. Threw I, I threw them on. They were like a, they were like the same kind of shoe, but like. 
a just, version ahead or behind one another, so they were distinctly different. But and then Tyler's shoes just had Tyler Carpenter. Well, no, 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 no. And that's his address. But I, 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 looked at, I, I looked at them and I looked down at my shoes and I was like, no, man, my shoes are on my feet. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, apparently, apparently uh, he had gone to a couple of other houses. People had sold us all out and everything like that. And it was an ordeal. Nobody went to court or anything like that. I saw fucking Anthony, Anthony knew, and I was like, hey, man, I'm... For what it's worth, I'm sorry. And he's like, I don't fucking care. And then just like walked away. And I was like, I'll, I'll take that. I'll, I'll, I'll take this. <laughs> just leave me alone forever, and we don't have to worry about it. And I was like, okay, that's that's a good idea. <laughs> that was that was a funny fucking time. That was like the extent. Fucking everyone went. I think the only one that didn't really get hit was fucking Tonto, and he went once. I think. Todd got hit hard. Yeah, Maybe he wasn't. Uh, wasn't Taj still there when they got home? I have no idea. Wouldn't well, that be yeah. fucking great? You break this old house to party and you wake up to, you wake up to, what the fuck? Like, oh shit. There's a blind guy in my house. Well, I even that someone in your house. I, 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 I low-key felt bad afterwards knowing the state that we had left that house in, man. Or it was this fucking trash. <laughs> oh, From all the stories oh, I've heard. YOLO. Fucking smoking cigarettes in the house. You guys, you guys have man practice. I'm so fucking dropping a cigarette house. dead center of the fucking room and everyone fighting for a goddamn cigarette. Shit was awful. Twice. That's about the extent of my of what I had to deal with the cops, pretty much. You know, I remember like being in high school and having band practice and like random motherfucker just walk up, oh hey, what's up guys? I'm like, who the fuck is this person? Like it's it was oh hey dude, I'm like, I don't know you. Dude, no fucking uh I remember fucking like the first time I had met your ass it was you and Alec. Alec yeah. I lived in the same neighborhood as uh, Alec, Alec did. Yeah. Alec. And I heard I was like just I was like super getting into metal at the time and I heard fucking like metal music come from, from like from across the street and I was like, Oh, this is the coolest shit ever. And so I'm sitting out front of the garage uh, like not out front of the garage, but I was like kinda of, like down the street a little bit. Oh, that was like a <coughs> right right joint the, yeah, yeah type shit. Yeah. And then the garage opened and I like froze, I was like Alright, uh, <laughs> They're like, stop, man. And I was like, oh, I just heard you play. I was listening to it. And I heard like, oh, he wants to play another song. I'm like, no, I'm chill. We'll go back home. I we, think we, I we remember. to get a breather so he could walk around the corner and smoke a cigarette. I remember a week, maybe a two, maybe two weeks after, um, I joined the band right after. And I fucking. I got kicked out of the fucking neighborhood. Uh, and fucking. Um, I had told fucking Tyler to come, and he's like, "Oh, okay, rad." And he fucking came. To, he came and fucking saw us playing. And he's like, "Oh uh, yeah, I guess this kid fucking saw us a couple weeks ago or some shit like that." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It okay. was like it was a week or two afterwards. Freshie was playing bass. Yeah, yeah, we are Sparta. Yeah, we we are I Sparta. Sparta. Dude, I, I remember we had like one like with the end, we had one or two full band practice for all five people. Because Donald would never yeah. be there. I, mean, like, I I went to uh, I went to six band practices, and then y'all played a show. Uh, no, we didn't even play a show. We played a fucking classroom of one song, and we played Attack Attack. And everyone fucked up horribly. Uh, not not everyone. It was uh, I forget who like really fucked up majorly, but um, oh, that Peaches did vocals. I, I think I Peaches like was ahead of the vocals and fucking. Uh, me and Alec, uh, we started the whole thing, dun, 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 um, but yeah, we started the whole fucking thing, and fucking, about halfway through, we fucking ended up just all fucking stopping in unison, really? and oh, fucking, we were like, yeah, that's the fucking song, fuck it, and well, that, that is the thing, is we were supposed to have a day to remember, yeah, and we were taught, we were promised we could do a day to remember, it was music appreciation, first off, like, righteous, and the teacher sent me to the principal's office in third grade, and, and it was, Oh no, uh, what, what was her name, Miss Kruger? Yeah, I fucking no, loved, Dr. Kruger. I loved her, bro. I had her for music yeah. class when I was like in like the fourth or fifth grade. And dude, it was like stellar, bro. Like we were mad tight. Dude. I saw her at our review and I was like, you teach here? And she was like, yeah, music appreciation, where are you at? And I was like, well, I'm in orchestra. And she's like, that's just as good, I'll see you around. And I was like, fucking right on, dude. dude. No, no, but no, no. what pissed me off was like, you were good with me and me. And Thomas, like we were fucking, we were sitting there in third grade, right? We were fucking playing, we were talking, right? And she's like, was like, you guys, you guys talk way too much of this and that. And I remember he was asking, like, what are you doing today? Like, oh, nothing. Like, you want, you want to, you want to go, you want to hang out after? Like, yeah, yeah, that's cool, right? And like that's that's 
the whole extent. We never really talked in music class besides that because we were just beginning to be friends. And it's like, you two not stop talking in my class. Like, we really weren't though. Like, this is the first time that I see you guys every day. Okay, go ahead and play it. Play on your record. Play this. And I was like, no one can fucking play it. Like, what are you talking about? It's like hot cross buns. Like, well, like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you and your hot cross buns, you dumbass. Yeah, <laughs> Send me right to the fucking principal's office. That's some fucking icing for your hot cross buns, you fucking and, like, I motherfucker. Thought was, I thought it was great in the, the principal's office in <laughs> fucking elementary school. is just like, you're there for five minutes, like, do you know what you did wrong? Okay, now go back to class. I remember in uh, elementary school, I got fucking, uh, it sent to the principal's office because people were wrestling in the fucking grass. And then fucking the principal was like, Oh, did you know that these motherfuckers were fighting and shit like that? I was like, he was fighting. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other guy looked like he was losing. I don't know if he was yeah. fighting. Yeah. <laughs> but with that whole fucking, uh, with the whole thing with uh, uh, Dr. Kruger, the project, I fucking, I finished all my math work and shit like that. I was like, hey, I got a project that I got to do with my other buddies over at this other class right now. Uh, can I leave? And they were like, leave. Like, I was like, oh, dang, bye, see you later. And fucking, I went to fucking the other class and fucking, uh, we had so many people, or like, like, uh, I forget who had like two other people coming, but like, fucking, I think it was James or you. James. James had like two other people coming and fucking, they, uh, they just let fucking people come in when we were fucking performing. I was like, oh, this is rad. I remember <laughs> fucking the worst fucking. So with the, I had my girlfriend, uh, my girlfriend at the time. She wasn't even my girlfriend. She at was the in time. the class already. But yeah, she was in the class already, and I was fucking. I was I, I low key kind of was like trying to impress her. I was like, yeah, I play fucking guitar. Like yeah. I remember <laughs> when we uh, we did bat like not bat, it was like it was like the talent show thing, right? You had to go like we were like, oh well, we want to play around. Okay, you have to audition. You have to make lyrics and shit like. No one was down to make lyrics, but I had to make the fucking lyrics for six fucking songs, right? So I fucking, I just wrote out a bunch of bullshit, right? Is like, that like, with I, Don, for Donald? Uh, yeah, because he then, like, because <laughs> Donald was like, no, I don't have lyrics, man. I just kind of, whatever comes to me, like, tragedy, no, tragedy. stop it, tragedy, fuck you. <laughs> tragedy? You spell tragedy five different ways. Yeah, I love six, the, I love, six different I love, ways. I love the death, but I remember. Tragedy, 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 I'd go, tragedy. It was back when I had my truck, and I had to drive over and grab my drums. It was probably, like, we were supposed to do it at 2.30. And it was like 2.15, and like, I forget what, I think it was Alec, you should, there is a, I, I dropped off Alec first, and you know, yeah, I dropped off Alec first, like, he's like, alright, you go get Freshie real quick, like, alright, Freshie had already gone home, I'm like, how the fuck, the fuck did you go home, so I drive all over to Decatur where he lived, pick him up, and we're fucking speeding down Whisper and Sands, hitting the bumps and everything, and I'm fucking eating a hot and spicy, I have eaten all fucking day, fuck this, and we fucking get there, and I remember we were playing, with like, like, for whatever reason, there was a bunch of, like, the fucking, uh, theater people that were fucking, like, walking by, like, oh, that's pretty fucking cool, and we played on the stage in the fucking, uh, in the auditorium. That's lit. And then we played, when we played our fucking, when we played our, sh when we played our little set, we got cut off, cut off after three fucking songs. And we also had to oh, turn, we had to turn our shit down because it was knocking the art off the other fucking, in the other auditorium, it was knocking that down, so we had to turn it down. I remember like, watching that, yeah, that was funny. And then the only show I think we were a part of actually played was at the Hypnotic Lounge, and that was so fucking shit. Remember, second one, I was actually starting to sell pre-sales. Pre -sales. I remember seeing this girl from our high school at Hot Top, and I'm like, hey, you like metal? I seen her at school. 20 bucks, okay. Oh, actually, oh, cool, sweet. I remember seeing her, and I was like, I don't know how to approach this, and I feel awkward as fuck. It's one of those same girls, and I was like, oh, she's pretty cute, right? I always thinking that. So I walked up like, hey, show's canceled, use your money back. Took off. I was like, never talked to her again. I was like, fucking done. Damn, and I was damn. Like, to me, like, that was the biggest fucking kick in the balls. Like, we like we, like, we fucking lost our show, dude. Fuck that. But, like, box office is probably the best place I ever played. Savage. Well, you played with, uh, fucking, uh, what was it? Through Thick and Thin. Thick and That's thin. what I'm saying, the box office is the I best played, place I ever played. I played at the box office once with, uh, with my band, <laughs> fucking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tragedy. Oh, my that fucking was God. awful. So, and you got every, bag too. Bro, every member of no, the that band, was the no, that was a sanctuary. Oh, every member sanctuary. of the band fucking, uh, was wearing, like, like fucking, like, war paint shit, like, like, the fucking guy liner, like, skinny jeans, fucking v-neck shit, hair swooped to the side. Some I have black belt curly right ass shit. hair, like, poofing out to here, a fucking Slayer shirt with a hole in it and cargo shorts, singing off-key as fuck, 
Gavin doing the fuck. We, we had two vocalists because Gavin yeah. couldn't do lows and Nathan couldn't do highs. No, no, no. It's the other way around. Gavin couldn't do highs and Nathan couldn't do lows. So they, they, they would transfer back and forth between the highs and lows. And it was awful. We had one full song that was shit. And we had a... a, a Katy Perry a, fucking Dude, cover. yeah, we did we did a Katy Perry cover of E.T. Because, like, Pump Goes Pop is getting super big. So, like, well, let's just fucking do a Katy Perry cover. That was awful. Big fucking mistake. Yo, really did, like, half a song. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, we did, like, half a song. We are like, all right, this is, uh, this, 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 this is done. And <clears throat> we decided to do, like... We didn't know what to do before our third song. I was like, you know, we're just going to do like, a, like, a, like an acoustic soft version of like our first song. Oh, and, 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 that ended, and that ended like, so no, we did we did the first song, then we did that song, and then we did the Katy Perry cover. Halfway through the Katy Perry cover, Gavin fucking throws the mic down and fucking like trots off the stage. And I'm like, stop, stop everything right now. We, don't, we, we, we need to cut this. And fucking Gavin gets back on stage. Puts his fucking foot up and goes, and fucking rips his jeans. Puts his fucking, like, play his little fucking package in his underwear, and, like, spill out. And I'm like, oh my fucking god. You're the, you're the worst fucking thing in the world. Dude, I can't remember who came on after that, but it was, a, it was another local band, and they just fucking blew us out of the water. I was so glad they did because they made us a good just a full local set? I guarantee uh, you. Uh, they did the three songs. Yeah, song. it was a full, yeah, was a full local set. Two more, two more. Jim King was probably just like, you know what, guys, I'm not going to contact you anymore. Didn't contact us. Then, well, you know what? Didn't I, I, I left the band after that. I was like, fuck you guys. I'm not going to make myself Look an embarrassment like anymore. <laughs> so I left, and they did three more shows. They played at the Sanctuary twice, and then they played at... Uh, that expos uh, battle of the fans. N- not battle of the fans. It was at the junkyard. They played at the junkyard oh, with John fucking right uh, before it fucking closed down. With fucking modern day escape and fucking yeah yeah played with modern day escape. So you know we opened up for murder like my old band uh, opened up for murder death kill. I was like either the last show or one of the last shows at the box office. But I remember that fucking feeling was just like when it, like it was, a, it, was a, it was a hardcore band, so I wasn't like too stoked with the beatdowns and two steps and everything. So I was just kind of forced. This was the, one of the oldest fucking hardcore bands too. And like, well, I mean, I'm talking about like the band, the music we played. So I, I didn't have fun playing it because it was so fucking boring. But like, when you're fucking sitting there playing a beatdown, you see people beating the fuck out of each other. It gives you this like feeling. It was like, yes. <laughs> I never yes. got into Murder Death Kill. Everyone fucking loved Murder Death Kill, and I'm like. Man, they fucking. I just can't oh, get into no, this music. The fuck y'all even talking about. Uh, it's it's a really band. old. It's Dude, they're, old. Like, they're like they're like one of the first beatdown bands. Yeah, but one of the, like like they're like one of the founders for beatdown. Holy fuck! And yeah, like, I never got into them, but Bacon and Zach were like, "You need to fucking listen to them. They're fucking amazing." Because they we, love fucking beatdown shit. And then we all opened up for show for them, like. Yeah. And then I remember the second show. Well, Zach and Bacon had already opened up for them with their last band, oh, yeah. Through Thick and Thin. Um, beforehand, so, at this at the box office. So the last show that we played, I remember. So band member A had a girlfriend that uh, was sleeping around band member B and band member C. <laughs> so band member C and band member or band member C and band member B left. So we got a new bassist, a new vocalist, and then I was just like, I'm a loser. I don't get laid. <laughs> so like, let's keep going, right? So. I remember we played one one last show and it was just like, man, it the was worst just, shit ever. I mean, like I, I was it was at Eagle Area, so it was like one of the first shows at Eagle Area. And, I was just, mm. and then you could see me being bored. I was just looking at my phone, like I was going because I only needed one foot. Then just hitting the phone every now and again, having to open it up like another five minutes of this shit. Yeah, but it was it was fun. I mean, I just remember having to like my like I I. The bassist had a drum set at his house, so I used that one, but it didn't feel right when I was playing like live because it was like it's completely a different setup. Right. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, it did not vibe well. Didn't take that into consideration. No. And no. But <laughs> that's the thing is, I, I bring my double bass pedal with me because it's like I have a really nice one now. I can't use it because I'm so used to the fucking shitty one I have. <laughs> so now I just use the shitty one and I'm fucking god awful to right now because I'm playing. Well, well, boys, I think that's about it. This has been the Toxic Trio. You guys have a wonderful fourth. We'll see you next time. Woo! Woo! Don't Jason Peter, call yourself.
Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed our content and click the notification button to see when our next video is going to get posted. Also, leave a comment at the bottom of this video for any content that you want to see in our next video. We love you guys. Thank you for watching. Ah, you motherfucker! <laughs> Shoot you right in the kidney stone. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that one sucks so bad. Oh, I'm so sorry. That looked so fucking pissed off.